Hi, this is Paul from Meet the Coffee. Um, just wanted to do just a, a very quick video regarding the the Onesie Presso Q2 grinder and the Wakako Nano Presso. I just got asked by a customer if the actual grind settings for the Q2 was going to be okay for use with the Nano Presso. I'm pretty confident it is, but I just wanted to test it out. And this this is kind of it is a short video, just you know, a test for for that particular customer just to showing basically that it is okay i know my thinking behind this is obviously um the q2 is it's not considered an espresso grinder but the nano presso doesn't use like a you know like a non-pressurized porter filter it's a pressurized porter filter and you can actually use coarser ground coffee in that like a medium medium fine grind and it's okay to do that Obviously, the, the Q2 is for AeroPress too, so you're talking, you're going to be able to use a, a medium fine grind size for that also. So, uh, there's no reason to say that you can't, you know, grind for that. I've put the setting for the Q2 on one. Now, that's not the finest grind setting. Um, the medium fine is a little bit higher than that. So, I'm going to go down a little bit and just kind of give it, you know, just round it off in one. Um, this is my my powder is in there and it's pretty it's pretty uniform it's pretty good considering it's it's a fine grain size for the q2 um, people say that once it gets down to a fine grain size that it's not so uniform as it should be um, obviously the burr types are more suited for pour over from the medium grain sizes is going to be a little bit better but it looks okay to me to be honest it doesn't look horrible it doesn't look you know totally on uniform it looks good enough um i've had far worse to be honest in the nano presser i've used far worse to grind in the nano presser just to test things you know um i used a, a blender at one point just to kind of grind up the beans and see see what i got and it went through the nano presser pretty pretty easily and, and it was okay um taste wise probably not so great but it does work um so I'm going to put this into the nano presso and I'm going to see see what we get from this and I'm pretty confident you'll get a decent pull from this so I'll stop this right now and, and go and prime my nano presso and test that out. Before I start this I just wanted to kind of point out again that one thing that I kind of can't stress enough is the importance of how much coffee, how, how fine it is and how you tamp when the coffee's in the coffee basket. It's very important. Really fine grind size um, can give you problems if you over tamp it and you overfill it. So it's always a good idea to have a set of scales and put in the correct amount and gently tamp. Don't you know? Don't really push that down. Um, one of the reasons is once once you've got the coffee into the coffee basket, if it's over full and then you tamp it and then you put the the head on. This, this part here is about three mils and there's a drop on that. When you put that into the basket, it pushes it down even more when you, when you screw your head back on. That's pushing your coffee down even more. Now, if your coffee's too fine and you've tamped it really hard anyway and overfilled it, that's going to push that down and create a really hard pull. So just be aware of that. You don't need to really force that down. And also, if your coffee's a little bit more coarse, it can really help you with that because the coffee particles allow the water to pass around them and they're not going to get stuck trying to pass through them so that's just you know just a small tip there and i've mentioned this before but i like to just keep mentioning it because i, I have honestly a lot of people who kind of ask about that and the one of the biggest problems with the nano presso is this that people get they block the machine and they really then start to force it and it can it can damage it if you don't do it properly so there is a little bit of like a technique to using this product so just be aware of that and you know that drop is very it's very important so when your coffee's in there just make sure it's below the rim just about three you know three millimeters and, and that's good to go okay nano pressos primed it's nice and warm I'm going to see what we get out of this and see if it's a good extraction on on that setting. So let me just turn this around to get a better better grip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay.
losing pressure now. Okay. Now, I'm going to lock this off. Another thing to mention, sometimes people say that when, when they use the nano presser, that they sometimes have a little bit of water left over in the chamber. That's standard. When you turn this back over, the water that's stuck in the top will sometimes go back down into the coffee basket and it'll look like you've got a little bit of water left in the chamber, but that's that's normal. All right, just looking at that, that's a pretty decent, that's a, quite a good shot. Um, using the nano presser, that's not bad at all to be honest. You can see there it's it's got quite decent crema on the top considering it's a pressurized porta filter. I haven't really, you know, I haven't done anything. I've kind of it's a guess at number one on this, and I could go either way. Um, it seemed to be okay when I was pumping. There was some resistance. It wasn't too tight. I think I could maybe dial it down a little bit more to a finer grain size. And really get you know a better a better extraction out of that with maybe more crema I suppose, um, but even on just that one that one setting it looks it's decent it's really okay that's not a bad bad extraction to be honest um, so yeah I would say conclusively you can get a, a pretty decent a pretty decent extraction with with the Q2 the ones you press Q2 and the, and the Wakako Nano Presso. Um, I'm not going to do any more today, um, but I just wanted to show you this to just so people can see that. And you know, if you like this video and, and you're happy to see this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll put more content up like this. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and good luck.